My name is Connie Alavi. I'm a native Persian and came to Berlin in 1980. And since then, I've been living here and working with my art and also my artistic work in Berlin, so to speak. So my art is really chaotic. I want to keep this chaotic scene and also really paint it pictorially. I did study, but at the University of Arts in Berlin. But still, it didn't get me much. You have to discover art from the inside. My aim is actually more between impressionistic and expressionistic. I have too many mistakes. I have too much to do here. Paintings are lying around here that I haven't touched in 10 years. There are unknown artists. There are also well-known artists who inspired me, but not 100%. When you actually start to paint with a brush in your hand, you always have a change there, a new style there, and always trying to discover something new. Oh, you can't name the most important, but one respectful award was the Federal Cross of Merit. So for the history that existed in Berlin around the fall of the Berlin Wall, the East Side Gallery. The East Side Gallery was founded by us, by the artist and by me. A lot of things were organized. When I received the Federal Cross of Merit, I really said I had to continue to work for more peace. And this is where this peaceful revolution took place. Peaceful revolution that is not everywhere in the world. The story that I then painted, a picture. It was interesting to see two girls hugging each other across the wall. East-West Dialogue. German, German history. Which I painted on an original authentic wall. And it was precisely this picture that was then transported from Berlin, displayed in New York in the Uno Garden. We are not only in Berlin as artists, but also as mediators, as a message of peace. And that is very important for the world. Without art, I think people will lose their souls when there is war. When a piano player comes and plays, it's simply a life, so to speak. And despite all the difficulties, despite all the cruelties, people are engaged in art. <laughs> 